what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i bring you another destiny 2 news video and today we have some pretty interesting things to check out including a new exotic classified weapon all new exotics coming soon new quests and much much more but before we check that out people every month i am giving away a fully customizable controller to enter the giveaway hit the like button on this video and leave a comment down below make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click the gleam link linked at the top of the video description fast simple and legit people okay so with the latest update the 1.2.3 patch many interesting things have been added into the game files which have been found meaning the likes of me can bring you information or videos like this one woohoo okay so let's start so four new exotic weapon ornaments have been found the breach header six this is for the merciless the gray nitrate this one is for the suicide gym the raging leapers this one is for the jade rabbit and the sudden squill this one is for the stern pretty cool we also have some more cosmetic items too including exotics two emotes two gold shells a ship and two vehicles emotes we have fishing and festival dance these can be seen on the screen now fishing one looks incredible for sure and its description reads sure sure you caught a big one no i totally believe you festival dances description reads join the celebration and move to the beat Gold shells, we have the Archie Pillay Gold Pitch, I believe that says, which looks incredible. Its description reads, for ghosts who know the tide of conflict, ebbs and flows. As well as the Predator Sun Shell, which looks amazing. Again, description reads, for ghosts who hunt at first rise. The exotic ship is called the Estival Ecursion. I don't know if there's an F missing here. Description reads, returning home is never as fast as you want it to be. And we have two exotic sparrows, which are the Black Light Razor, which looks incredible. Description reads, mounted and harmonized with twin pulse engines for a blazing attack. And then we have the Grey Hornet, which is probably the best looking sparrow I've ever seen. Its description reads, this sparrow zips and dives and comes in for the sting. Absolutely amazing. Other cosmetics have been added. We have two shaders, Blazing Virtual and Malachite Gold. Two new emblems, Eternally Triumphant and Renewed Triumph. Five legendary emotes, Alliterative Dance, Fly Dance, Herald Dance, Sassy Taunt and Teamwork Dance. Seven new legendary core shells, Bank Jar Shell, Citrine Sway Shell, Header Stripe Shell, Regality Sphere Shell, Skyfire North Shell and the Right Choice Shell. Eight new legendary sparrows have also been added Bolt Crackle, Comrades in Arms, June Stinger, Memoriam Soul, Arcanist Swaif. Soul Form 7, Sun Spear, and Timber Wolf. Also, three new rare emotes Aggressively Affirmative, Confident Strut, and Raise the Roof. Also, guys, a new questline has been found. Uh, we don't know if this is in the game at the moment or it's coming at the end of the month with the Sources of Heroes event. We just ain't sure yet. As of making this video though, no one has found it. People are speculating it might be obtained from one of Cade's treasure chests, but that has not been confirmed as of yet. The quest is called Cade's Spicy Raymond. Other items have been found which may coincide with this quest. Check them out on screen now. So what is this? Is it a farewell quest from Cade? Is it more? We just don't know people, it is interesting though. I'm pretty sure we'll find out more information probably over the next coming weeks. Okay, so we're going to move on and with the Sources of Heroes, as you may know, Ikora is the rep behind the event. Upon speaking with her, you are sent to an actual vendor, which is actually a statue and it's called the Statue of Heroes, but it is classed as a vendor. This has been placed within the tower. This will reward you with a set of Solstice gear, but the gear will be common Scorch gear and you will have to upgrade it. It will also only be a power level of 240 when you first acquire it. Yes, hard times. Now to upgrade it, and it's the same across the board, so Hunter's Harm, Warlock Harm and the Titan's Harm all have the same requirements to upgrade. And to upgrade the helmets, you need to complete the Spark Redux mission. Collect Arc Orbs and defeat Guardians in the Crucible. Generate Elemental Orbs by wearing a full Solstice of Armor set during the Solstice of Heroes event. 
Scorch Solstice Gauntlets require you to complete the Homecoming Redux mission, collect solar orbs in strikes, and complete a meditation for Ikora. Scorch Solstice Chest Pieces require you to complete their chosen Redux mission, collect void orbs on Earth, and complete heroic public events. Scorched Legs require you to complete their 1 AU Redux mission, get super kills in the Crucible, and defeat mini bosses. And the Scorched Class items require you to complete the Payback Redux mission, collect void orbs, and complete patrols. So once you've done the set requirements for these armors, these common armor pieces will then transform into rares, being power level 340 and will also behold further requirements for you to upgrade them. The gear is no longer called Scorched, it is now in this state called Rekindled. Requirements for each class now changes it a little. And the requirements for each you can see on screen now, Titan first. If you want to pause the video and read through these requirements, I invite you to. Here are the Hunter's rare gear requirements for upgrading. And here are the Warlocks. And that's that people, once these requirements have been done, the gear will then upgrade to the Legendary Resplendent versions. But more objectives await you, this time around though it upgrades the gear to the Masterwork versions. Requirements like the common gear is set the same across the board. So to get the Masterwork Solstice Helmets, complete the Nightfall Prestige at or above the bonus threshold. Gauntlets require you to complete heroic strikes with at least one clanmate. Chest pieces, complete the Leviathan Raid on Prestige difficulty. Legs, achieve a legend rank in the Valor Crucible rankings. And class items require you to defeat bosses. And that's that for the armor guys, and that's how it is unlocked and upgraded. But you can add more to them in terms of new glows. Now these new glows are unlocked from Solstice Engrams from Eververse. These are obtained via milestones completed each week, three obtainable every week. And you can also get one per bright engram you obtain two. So you will get a Solstice Engram when you obtain a bright engram for obviously ranking up that XP bar. On screen now we can see these glows and what they look like looking great. The glow effect glows brighter if the glow colour matches the subclass burn you are using. Awesome. Moving on then we have some more triumph challenges. Some you may have seen before, some not. These you can see on screen now. The first one, above and beyond. Masterwork any solstice of heroes armour. Adventurous. Complete 20 adventures. Awaken the Warmind. Finish the Warmind campaign. Bringer of Light. Finish Destiny 2's base campaign. Check out my arsenal, obtain 25 exotic weapons or armors. Fashion Hero, upgrade the full Solstice of Heroes armor set to legendary quality. Fleeting Memories, collect all 45 latent memories. Follower of Osiris, finish Curse of Osiris campaign. Hive Extermination, complete tier 7 in Escalation Protocol. I will smash you, defeat 100 opponents in the Crucible. In my element, collect 250 elemental orbs. Prove your worth. Complete Eater of Worlds and Spire of Stars raid layers. Remember who you are. Complete each Redux mission at least once. Running errands. Complete 25 bounties. Show me the way. Obtain Sejiro's Ghost Shell. The Emperor. Defeat Callus in the Leviathan raid. The Fabled Guardian. Reach Fabled in Valor ranking in Season 3. The Hero We Deserve. Complete 25 public events on heroic difficulty. The very best, reach Vanguard rank 50 in Season 3, and Treasure Hunter, collect all region chests. Your moments of triumph are a big part of the Solstice people, another thing I can't wait to get into. And lastly people, before we end the video, if you look into your collections, you can do this numerous ways as you well know, there is a new classified exotic right there, we don't know what it is, but it is super interesting as it wasn't there before this 1.2.3 update. Now many people are speculating this might be the black spindle, which to be honest it makes sense. I mean we know about the catalyst already being data mined a while back, so we know it's coming to the game sooner or later, so is this the missing exotic will it become live sometime soon maybe with the sources for heroes event maybe that's what this classified exotic is preparing for who knows people but there's not much information on it besides we know there's definitely something hidden there so is it the black spindle you guys tell me but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video i believe i've covered everything that i've dropped so far on this new event within this video and the one i posted earlier if you missed oh you can find it linked within the video description but guys if you enjoyed the video hitting that like button truly does help me out if you're new around here and like what you see be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on. We never
never get it right.